Hello and welcome to my Tier 1 Node War Preparation Guide. This is primarily aimed at uh, guildies, new players, and returning the like, who have maybe never participated in Node Wars before. This is going to be pretty much everything you need to know before you ever get started in your very first Node War. So, first of all, the most important thing is your stats, obviously. So open up M, your world map. Go up here to the top right, Node War Information. Boom. We can now hover over a node. This is a Tier 1 node for the players around you. We can look at our stats. AP limit 245. This is your total AP, not your sheet AP, right? So obviously my sheet AP is not 447, right? That's impossible. Maybe one day, but so 245 total AP, right? Which so a lot of people have this con misconception that you need a decent bit of gear to get in the node wars, right? Like like full pen to Vala. You don't need anywhere near close to full pen to Vala in order to get the node wars, right? Currently, I'm rocking 245 AP, which is, I believe, full pen to Vala equivalent, and I'm way over the AP cap, right? So yeah, uh, speaking of stats and gear, percent damage modifiers are extremely important, extremely important, which is why we use these Chimera earrings and the Kaya necklace, which you can buy from an NPC over in Trent. There's an NPC somewhere right over here that you can buy these from for like dirt cheap, like a million silver each, right? These give you percent damage increases. Down attack damage, 10%, 10%, 10% back attack. These bypass the ordinary damage caps, right? The AP cap. These are its own thing. They're not, they're not calculated into the caps. You can just stack as much as this as you can possibly get your hands on, which is huge. Which is why your buffs are very, very important. So, Exquisite Cron. 5% back attack, 5% crit, huge AP accuracy, you get your crit, your move speed, attack speed, all that HP, it's it's just great, ignore all resistance, right, it's amazing. Uh, another great thing you can use is Giant's Drafts, 10% extra all special attack damage, which includes back, air, down attack, and crit damage, right, all four, right, absolutely massive. Now, if you really, really want to min-max it, uh, better than a Giant's Draft, we have Elixirs, which... You've got Sky, Carnage, Detection, and Assassin, as well as Destruction, or like the four most important for damage. You can get a total of 17% back, air, down, and crit damage, which is fucking massive, right? Compared to a Giant's Draft, which is 10%. That's a huge damage increase. Super duper strong. Uh, another very important thing is Crystals. You want to have Node War specific Crystals? Uh, corrupted magics are huge because they give you 10% crit damage each and if you've got two of them you get an additional 2% So it's 22% crit damage. That is absolutely massive Gallant trees are great because of attack speed. Same with the Lucas. Rebellious are great to get you to that AP cap if you need it as well as the HP uh, Again, right rebellious. Uh, Cobellinus are very very good again for HP and the reason why we have so much HP is because HP is capped at 5k in tier 1 node wars if you were not at 5k in a tier 1 node war, you were not going to have a good time. So you really, really want to focus on getting 5k HP to be as tanky as possible. We've got Histrias, very, very cheap for a nice stamina boost. And I run Absorptions simply to get HP on attacks, because that's what I like doing. I like being able to heal, I like being able to survive. Next up, Artifacts. So I run Flying Kick, which gives me air attack damage. Uh, you'll have to Google what is best for your class. A lot of classes use stomping for tier one node wars. Stomping is down attack instead. That's probably one of the better ones you can use. For ninja, I use air attack because ninja relies on floats. For your class, it might be down attack. Uh, the best thing you can possibly get is tar target openings. Target openings is crit damage. You get crit damage instead of air attack or down attack, which is arguably better than both of them. Yeah, another three, right? It's the best of the three, definitely. That's the best damage you can possibly get. Uh, in terms of other buffs, there is an NPC at the top yeah. of Pytle, which people are always waiting at for the Nova starts. Everybody and their mother is here. Her name is Caroline. She gives you a very, very strong buff. She's just up here. The skill instructor right here, and we'll go into that next. Caroline, reach 50 Amity by waving Lord. at her. We're Mind in the etiquette. terrible Amity minigame, and you get this buff called Caroline's Kindness. 10% crit. 30 minutes, persist your death, right? Absolutely huge. It's a big damage increase. Everybody waits here before the number starts.
skill out. Obviously, this varies heavily by my, cl my class. Never. But for tier one nodors, again, the percentage damage increases are huge. So back attack, air attack, crit, down attack, absolutely huge. Uh, DP debuffs do not work the way you would normally think they would. So essentially, for tier one node wars, just don't even worry about DP debuffs. Don't use them. They don't work. Bleeds are huge, right? Bleeds are absolutely huge in tier one node wars. You definitely want a tier three bleed on at least one of your abilities. Attack speed's obviously great. Uh, crit rate, you want crit rate. And then uh, healing on hit on spells that hit multiple times is very good. I, I like move speed so that I can simply get around faster. But uh, an alternative for this skill, particularly for me, would be healing on hit, right? So healing on hit is very, very, very strong. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? <laughs> Crystals, buffs. Another important thing is traps. Traps are very, very, very important. So we're going to come back here to the guild military supply manager. Press one. Traps. Sun traps are very, very strong. Your shot caller will most likely have you install a lot of sun traps at the beginning of the war and all throughout. Flame traps are decently strong as well. But then venom traps. So as time goes on in tier 1 node wars, your HP pool diminishes up to, I believe, 3k. So you start the war at 5k. As time goes on and you progress towards the end of the node war, you will be at around 3k HP. At that point, a venom trap can very easily 100 to 0 you if you were not healing with potions or in combat, right? A Venom Trap can actually just kill you from full health at that low HP. It's very, very strong. Extremely strong. Other than that, right, Villa Buff, Church Buff. Church Buff's great if you are lacking HP, right? Very, very strong. Uh, yeah, I believe that's everything aside from make sure you're in plus G. Go over to Guild Member Status. And you are going to see this participation. This is for Node War. So if you are yes up, you are in the Node War. If you don't do this, it has to be on the right server too. Right? So whatever server you are Node Warring on that day, you must switch to it and yes up bef before war starts. Because there is a cap to how many people can participate, which is why this exists. And if you don't do this, you cannot participate in the Node War. You won't be able to do damage. This is super duper important. Super duper important that you yes up. So yeah. That's about it. Uh, hopefully this helped you uh, learn a bit, a bit about Node Wars preparation. The t too long didn't read version, essentially. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I definitely highly recommend it to anybody who is new or returning or simply just never done a Node War. It's a lot of fucking fun. It's it's so much fun. And it's, it's daunting at first, but hopefully you can go back in the video and, and if there's anything that you need help with, let me know. But yeah, hopefully I covered enough. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have fun.